Welcome to Miss Pan Jason's Flipped Classroom. Now some of you guys have an idea of what it is, some of you guys have absolutely no idea what it is. You can even Google Flipped Classroom, but every teacher does their classroom differently. The basics of a flipped classroom is basically what you usually do in the classroom, which is lecture, is what you'll do at home through videos. And then what you usually do at home for homework, you're going to be doing in class, in groups. So, it's a little bit adjustments, but there's lots of benefits to it, and I'll go through them with you. So, without further ado, let's start with the benefits. My flipped classroom has more than these four benefits, but I'm going to go through the major ones with you, just so you can get an idea of why I decided to implement the flipped classroom. I've been doing this for about three years and have conducted research and shown that it does and helps students who uh, go through the program. So, the first one is it eliminates homework frustration. The biggest reason why the flipped classroom is so beneficial is because a lot of kids will go home with the 20 problem, 15 to 20 problems of homework, and when they get stuck, what happens? Well, they can ask their parents or they can ask for help, but if they don't get that help, they usually wait till the next day to ask the teacher a question. It's, it, the teacher answers the question, but then the student still has not finished the assignment. It's not like other subjects where you can just skip and move on to the next problem. They all build on each other. So, by having the assignment in class where you have your classmates and teachers all the time, it eliminates that problem. It also helps with differentiated instruction. What that means is we all learn differently. Some of you guys learn by lectures, some of you guys learn by practice, some of you guys learn by tutoring, some of you guys learn by going at your own pace, going faster or slower, whatever it is. This helps people who learn differently take things at their own pace, learn in their own way, re-see lectures over and over again, if they fall asleep in class, if they're absent, they're involved, it's all different. The flipped classroom also creates independent learning. So what that means is it creates a classroom environment where me as a teacher or a teacher becomes your last resort. So instead of being fully dependent on us, the teachers, you start depending on your classmates or other resources first, and then when you absolutely need help, you can come and depend on us. Now. Um, this allows you to take your own learning into your own hands. You can take it at your pace, you can get the help when you need it, and you can avoid that frustration moment of being, a, being stuck and not being able to know um, to move on to the next step. Okay? The last benefit I have listed is you never miss a lecture. Um, you're scot in sports. I have students constantly absent because of sports extracurricular. Let's say you just had a bad day or you felt or you didn't get enough sleep and you fell asleep in class. There is a whole bunch of different reasons why you might have not fully understood that lecture. Well, because the lectures are now on video, you'll never miss it. And if you need to watch it again for review, it's there for you. So it's an endless amount of resource for you to just be able to get the concept um, whenever it is that you need it. So for homework, all you're going to be worried about is videos. So for those of you guys who are used to spending hours and hours in your homework, the flipped classroom allows you to spend no more than 20 to 30 minutes a night on doing homework. The videos can be watched on YouTube, so they can be um, they can be watched on your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your desktop, whatever it is that you need to watch, even your iPod. Um, the website is ypanjaton.simple.com. You want to write that down. That's your main resource. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the class. You're going to find the date that you're looking for, and then you're going to click on the video. Okay. Sometimes there might be one or more than one video assigned because they're rather short. And you're going to cover more than one video. So make sure that if there's more than one video lesson, that you watch them all. Okay. Next, you're going to take a piece of paper with notes that will go into your note binder and you're going to label the notes with the section, Geometry 2.1, 2.3, whatever it is, so that you're able to keep your notes organized. Don't forget to write the vocabulary and definition before you start the video. It's important that you know all the vocabulary that we used in the video. Okay? Now, the next two steps you can do many different ways. Each video has things like this, which is a board that I switch out. Okay? 
okay? It's very important that you don't watch the video and take notes at the same time. Studies have shown that actually can hurt your learning if you're trying to write and listen at the same time. So do one or the other, one and the other, because you don't really need to choose. Um, so um, you could do it several ways. You can watch me talk and then pause and then write down the notes. So you can watch the whole video, just watch it without um, without writing anything down, watch it only. And then you can go back and just quickly write down what's on each board and what was covered. At the end of each video, there are practice problems that I give, two or three problems, just to see if you fully understand the concept. Now, if you don't understand it, that's perfectly fine. Um, it helps you uh, show the teacher what exact, where exactly are you not understanding. So just attempt the problems. If you can complete it, great. If you can't, that's fine because when you get to class, that's when we'll go over it. So no stress on that. The classroom setup is basically how the class is going to run. You're going to enter the classroom and everyone's going to sit in their, um, in their seats facing the teacher. Now, as you're with the whole class, we're going to start the class by going over the questions on the video. So whatever questions you might have or you might get stuck in any confusions or anything like that, that would be in the beginning of class. Then we're going to go over the practice problems as a class together, okay? Just to make sure everyone understands it. That way, if there's a particular step that you are confused about or you are stuck at, you can go at, uh, you can um, be able to ask at this time. So the cl whole class goes over and then you're able to complete your notes, okay? Um, the student, you're going to get into pairs, groups, or whole class. So after we go over the, the instructions, you, um, the teacher will tell you to either get into pairs to work on the assignment, you can get, um, or they'll tell you to get into groups, so groups of three or four. Some of you guys will be assigned groups, um, or if the class is rather small, you might just get into one round group. Anything where you're facing your classmates and you're going to be working on this assignment with them, okay? Everyone turns in their own assignment, but in case you get stuck, everyone can help each other out. Um, so you're going to be working on the book assignment. If by chance you're absent, all the assignment numbers are on uh, the website. Now, at this point, this is where the teacher walks around. So if you have a question, you can ask your teacher, but make sure that you first uh, use the resources around you, like your classmates, or maybe you go through the video again just so you can own your learning. The next step is um, you correct the assignment. You finish the assignment in class, or if you don't finish the assignment, you can take it home. Either way, you should, you should use the end of the class or come in after school and correct your own assignments. This is so you can see your own mistakes, okay? You have to make sure to show all your work, and then you can go ahead and turn um, in the assignment for full credit. If you didn't watch the video that day for class, you can just watch that first and then you can join the pairs, groups, or your class. So make sure before you start this step right here that you have the video watched. So by chance, let's say that it was a late night, that's fine, you can watch it, but uh, that just means you have to work that much harder to catch up, okay? And also, if you do not complete the uh, assignment in class, you'll take that home and finish it. actually favorite this. Then any video that you click on will send you to my YouTube page. You can also subscribe to that so that you know when a new video is uploaded. Um, on the website, you can find assignment numbers in case um, you forgot them. Um, you can do the less, a link to lesson plans. Okay, so if you want to know what section we're going to be covering, in case you're going to be absent, the lesson plan tells you what section goes on what days. Um, there's contact information if you need to email me, if you need to um, text me either a question or a concern that you might have. Um, there's research found. Everything that is done in the flipped classroom is research based. So, and then of course the video links to all the videos that you might have. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Again, if there's any questions, please feel free to contact me. And I can't wait to start the flipped classroom with you.